Uh, today we're going to talk about migrant farm workers and what they do and what what's why they're so important to us. So I invited Gabriel to come and tell us a little bit about himself. So Angie, go ahead. Thank you so much. Um, as you said, my name is Gabriel. I am from a tiny Caribbean island named St. Lucia. I came to Canada in 2012 as a migrant farm worker. Presently, I am a former migrant farm worker and I do a lot of work as an outreach worker with migrant farm workers. And also I am an author just like you. Um, basically, my book is about um, sharing my experience as a farm worker in Canada and I wish a lot of Canadians would read that story and understand the story behind the food that we eat. And the important thing is we are all connected by food in one way or another. And, and I wish Canadians would pay more attention and be more concerned about the food that they eat. Good. All right. So what's your favorite food, Gabriel? Um, being in Canada, for some reason, I always love... Um, uh, mushrooms. Mushroom soup is one of my favorite. <laughs> mushrooms are pretty good. Now, what kind of mushroom is your favorite? Because there's many kinds. Yeah, there's so many kinds to be to be. Um, up to now, I'm still there's so many kinds. Every time I I I put my hands on mushroom soup, I always look forward to getting a different kind of mushroom. So I don't even know which one is my favorite because I, I, it's a, it's like a wide world and I'm still uh, discovering that <laughs> wide world. It's like a continent, actually. Okay, yeah, it is a wide world. Um, I like portobello's and I like, um, for some reason, I like truffle. I learned truffle is a type of mushroom. Like I like truffle oil, truffle anything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so I think you, you've told me that in some ways, a lot of the foods we eat are connected to the migrant farm workers. Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, generally, generally, Canada is a very productive country. Canada produces a lot, a lot of um, fruits, vegetables, a lot of foods. And because it's a lot, a lot of work, um, a lot of hands are needed. And the, the kind of work that's involved in the production of food in Canada is generally considered to be D work, meaning it's dirty, it's difficult, it's dangerous work, and a lot of Canadians do not like to do it. They are non-unionized work. And generally, generally Canadians do not like to do it, and that is why one of the main reasons why the government have a program which brings in people from other countries, people we call migrant workers, to come and do those difficult work, dirty work, dangerous work. Hmm, D word all the d words you said i've never heard of the d work the d jobs that's really interesting um and i was wondering what word do you use when you talk about people who do the work who come in from far away to come in to do this work what is, can you say that word again or that phrase of what you call the people who do that work on the farms yes um in canada um people come from because Canadians do not like to do the work, and therefore these, the, it's called the dirty, D, dirty, D, difficult, D, dangerous, D, deadly. These are the dirty work, the difficult work, the dangerous work, the deadly jobs. The Canadians do not like to do it, and they bring in people from outside of Canada. These people, we call them migrant workers, migrant, migrant workers. farm workers, yes. Oh, workers. Some, and a few people call them guest workers, guests, guest workers. like, like they're, they're guests in the country. Okay. And do you, have you ever heard of the word agricultural worker also? Is that agricultural migrant workers? Yeah. Or is there... yeah, yeah, some people call them also agricultural workers, agricultural migrant workers. Yes, because it's another, agriculture is another word that is normally substituted for the farm. Okay, that's yeah. right. So agriculture also means farm, farmer, mm -hmm. farm work. Mm -hmm. So um, I was wondering, you mentioned that you're from St. Lucia. What is your life like there? Do you have a family um, or did you have a family there? And did you have to leave them behind when you came to Canada? 